into the IT industry. Yeah, I am into IT industry from almost 11 years. And I have been working with the Millsoft technology, specific to Millsoft, uh, for about close to uh, seven years. And I have worked with various clients and even various countries uh, like Europe and uh, UK. Okay, right now I am working as a module lead in one of the uh, company. And guys, can I request uh, you all to go on mute uh, for some time? Thank you. And if at all, if you have got any questions, right? So just park them until the end or just make a note of all those questions and uh, we will make sure that all your questions are answered. All right. Okay. And it's good to have uh, a good variety of uh, the students uh, in this workshop, uh, guys. I, I, I heard uh, I heard that uh, we have uh, freshers, experienced resources, and shifting to uh, Millsoft career. It's good to know. And uh, let's get uh, started with a workshop on, on Millsoft technology. Guys, let me share my screen. Okay, I hope you are able to see my uh, Google Chrome browser. Can any one of you confirm? Maybe Ashraf, can you just confirm if you're able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> so uh, right now I am just going to play a small video from uh, the millsoft.com, the company site, okay? So, Try to just uh, listen to this. It, it, it's going to be a very short one. Okay, I'm going to stop it in the middle as well. We wouldn't be playing the complete video, but uh, I want uh, you all to just focus on this video and try to understand what are the key terms that these guys are talking about. Okay. So just to try to understand what they are talking about and what is that the integration or what is that they're going to build, okay? Just. We are not able to hear you. Sir, we are not hearing the voice. Sir. I'm sorry, you are not able to get the video or, or, or the audio out of this video? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. No worries, it's okay. Let me just take a break. <clears throat> Okay, so the video, the previous video, uh, uh, it, all, it, it all talks about uh, like what is in you can uh, uh, develop an application very fast. Okay, so the project, the project manager, uh, you might have seen it at the initial level. The project manager in an IT industry is asking to complete a, an application very fast and we need it right now kind of thing, right? So the underlying IT team has just picked up the MuleSoft and they started building that app. Towards the middle or towards the end of the video, you see that using the MuleSoft technology or a tool, they were able to complete that application within a very lesser time and with very limited development effort. Okay, that's what it, it's, it's going to show, but we will be going ahead and 
seeing uh, or we'll try to understand what this mills of technology is about where it is going to be used why we should use and all okay let's proceed guys all right so let us just uh, try to understand what is an integration okay so so guys uh, integration by by the by the uh, the term itself integration it all talks about or it it means that you wanted to integrate you wanted to do some integration or you wanted to connect you want to make a communication all right so uh, what is an integration you wanted to connect multiple systems together okay and if you see here guys the process of bringing the data what do you mean by data it's like the employee data or say if you are in a college you might have talked about or you might have seen about departments data students data payment data like that okay so it's more like you wanted to bring the data from one application to another application okay so for example you might have heard about the oracle database okay so the data is present in the oracle database and you wanted to move that data from oracle to salesforce okay so that is one such example of using this integration you can move the data from oracle to salesforce okay for example let's come to the right moving the data between applications and enabling the workflows to establish between them okay and these are some of the metrics guys if you see you might have heard about saas if not it's a, it's, it's like software as a service okay so this saas is software as a service okay let me just okay so the software as a service right and this this shows the metric as well so in about uh, the 27.8% of the worldwide applications will be saas based what does it mean like software as a service what does it mean so we will build the software for you and you can just take and use okay so you wanted to uh, implement or you wanted to build an application for example say zomato app or swiggy app okay so <clears throat> If if I tell you, uh, even the Zomato or Swiggy in the back end, they use a lot of integration tools, okay, to to talk to the weather data, to talk to uh, the geographical location data, right, to talk to the phone directories, right. So there there are some or or the Google Maps. So these are some of the small examples, okay. In the background, they all use all those functions. and then build that app for you give me a second guys all right and uh, you see there there's a slight incre increase from 27.8 to 41 so it is even integration platform as a service you see the 41.5% of the market is going to comprise of 41.5% of the integration platform as a service okay so this mule soft would come okay would maybe we can categorize this mule soft under the integration form as a service i pass okay that is cool Yeah, let's proceed. Okay, you see here. <clears throat> how do you establish a connection? Or let us talk about like some systems, guys. You might have known about uh, database. I hope every one of us might be aware about the da database storage.
and maybe the e-commerce application for example flip we have got some applications built in the ibm mainframe guys so, can i request you all to go on mute please thank you so you see all these applications or systems are connected using an enterprise service bus okay and this is where our mule soft would coming to picture okay <clears throat> and let let's let's understand like what is an esp because until now i was telling about mule soft esb enterprise service bus and integration right so just uh, try to understand what's an esp like it's it's fundamental in architecture it just gives us a set of rules okay to integrate good amount of applications together over a bus like infrastructure that bus like infrastructure is nothing but an esp okay integrate different applications by putting a communication bus what is that communication bus is this mill soft you see this logo is for the mill soft guys okay and this is the soap service salesforce workday apis and some files databases okay so in between there is an esp integration layer from mill soft technology trying to connect all these systems together and exchange of data okay so that is what this esp is all about and why should i use mule soft or why should i use an esp nowadays the entire it industry or it infrastructure this esp is the backbone for them you see here reducing the time to market for the new initiatives okay what does it mean is yes, say for example there are two applications trying to gain the market or say i wanted i wanted to see in the market or i wanted to see in my app play store okay uh, it should be downloaded 1000 times today okay and i would keep a target okay by this month end i wanted my application to be downloaded 5000 times when or how it will be it will spread the word guys i need to have a good market catch initiatives or a good features for an application only then you would go and download it from the internet or from the play store or app store or wherever it is right what does it mean if i wanted to live in the market and sustain for long right i need to release new features to the market very frequently <coughs> right how you can establish that using this ipass solutions you can achieve that okay that is why this mulesoft as a company is gaining a lot of market value uh, over a period of time okay that's good and this esp architecture facilitates this by providing a very simple well defined pluggable system what does it mean pluggable system okay so today i wanted to connect to an oracle database and get the data okay this statement seems very simple i want to connect to oracle database and get the employee data that's what my need okay so for that using for example using different technologies i might need to write 100 lines of code okay whereas using this mule soft there's no need for me to uh, write those 100 lines of code with very minimal code i can go and have that functionality built in place with very limited clicks because i do have this database connector available for me already which is given to me by this mulesoft 
okay uh, when when we when i show you the tool walk through you would understand it more okay so with very limited coding you can achieve that when compared to other technologies in the market guys that is what i wanted to stress upon okay yeah and yeah i have uh, and also guys uh, i do a lot of uh, corporate uh, trainings as well in the market okay i've trained many uh, students or uh, employees so far and i keep getting these questions uh, to me so for that reason i thought i'd prepare a separate slide for you what is the prerequisite or what are the frequently asked questions to me when i take up the training okay <laughs> Uh, do we need to know languages like Java or .NET or any other technology? I strictly say no. There's no need for us to learn all these technologies and come back and learn the MuleSoft. No. Okay. And say if you are from a quality assurance or a testing background uh, or uh, administration background, can I still learn MuleSoft? It's an absolute yes. Okay. And what is that I need to know before starting up the session? I can say nothing much needed, but I would suggest for you to go and just see on the internet, what is integration? What is MuleSoft? And just have a thought about the data structures. What does it mean? The data types, what is an XML data? What is JSON? type of data guys that is all okay and for you to gain complete knowledge or for you to land up a job right so i know that our training is going to last for about 30 to 35 days okay and towards the end of our training i am sure that many of you would land up with jobs in your hand for the millsoft as soon we will also see about what is the current trend about the MuleSoft job market. Okay, both for freshers and for the experienced. We would also see what is going to be the salary package as well. Okay, and for you to land up there, what is that the ask from you guys is as and when you get a chance or you get an assignment from me, you definitely need to have the practice or a hands-on on that concept. Okay, so that is the only ask from you guys. And uh, even I have got many of my students, I keep hearing or we keep getting the feedback from the previous uh, students that they have placed with good package guys, okay? And Millsoft, I can definitely assure you that you would land up with good package in the market today with Millsoft technology, okay? And what is Millsoft? Uh, it's, it's a Salesforce uh, company because recently or uh, one to two years back, uh, this Millsoft has been acquired by a, another company called Salesforce. Okay, so we call it a Salesforce company. It's an integration platform. It's an API management platform. Okay, yep. so it is a Salesforce and uh, <clears throat> Yeah, this is going to be the very important slide, uh, uh, guys. So what is the course uh, content that we will be covering as part of our training? Okay. So we will talk about the API-led connectivity. Yeah, we'd go deep down into all these in the uh, upcoming sessions, okay? Uh, when once you register and when once we plan the things and uh, do batches, that's when we would go deep down. But this is going to be our course content, guys. API-led connectivity. We will talk about what is an API and how to design the API, how you can build an API. And when once you develop, how and where you need to deploy that API and how you can access or modify a particular message. As per the best practices recommended by MuleSoft company, how we can structure the Mule application. Okay, we will talk about consuming of the web services. What does it mean? So today, we do have a lot of open world uh, web services available. How you can consume those web services using MuleSoft. 
and how we can build an application, right? <clears throat> and how you can handle the error, okay? What does it mean? If you have developed an application, right? I don't want my problematic application to go and sit in production and destroy everything. No. What is the best way? What is the best way that you can typically handle your errors at the development level itself? Okay. <laughs> and we will talk about the message flow and the data weave transformation is very, very important. Uh, guys, this is the heart of the MuleSoft technology. Okay. And how you can connect to additional resources like databases, file systems, email. Okay. And how you can process the records in batches. And what this is an additional module that I tip, that I usually give to my uh, students, guys. Okay. What are the deployment models and CACD? Maybe we would definitely go deep down. If you are a fresher, we would uh, uh, go deep down into what is continuous integration and what is continuous deployment, okay? So we will talk about all these things in our training session, in our uh, next uh, one month, uh, 30 to 35 days of our training, guys, okay? It's okay, I wouldn't... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, talking about the API-led connectivity here, Rajit. So this is this is the slide we are going to see many times in our training. Okay. I wouldn't go deep, but at a very high level, if you see here, I do have software as a service applications, mainframe, files, databases, web services, and some legacy systems like SAP. Okay. And these are the front end applications. You see, there's a mobile application, okay, where I have all my Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn installed on my mobile phone. And in the back end, it is typically going and connecting to all these or uh, any of these systems and giving you the data back. Okay, this is how the applications on your phone are typically going to work on a day to day basis, guys. Okay, that means a LinkedIn on a mobile application, on a desktop application, okay, maybe a support desk for a, uh, a LinkedIn, right, or a CRM system, that the customer relationship management, okay. So th this is one layer and this is one layer and using the MuleSoft, how you typically establish the link okay, is something this API-led connectivity is all about. All right. And I would walk you through the tool now. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, uh, let me just see if there are any important questions so far in the chat box. Okay, I I do not see any important chat. Let me reshare my screen. Okay, so guys, uh, <clears throat> so this is the AnyPoint platform. Okay, this is an open source uh, 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 tool. Okay, that you can download it from the internet. Okay. Uh -huh. Guys, yes, can you please join me? Okay, thank you. 
thank you. Okay, so we are here. So we're talking about the any point platform. Okay, so all you need is you need is you just need internet uh, for it to access. Okay, that is all. It's all available. It's it's an open source. Okay, uh, we we can download it from the uh, uh, internet. All right, and in this any point platform, you can typically do all these things you can design your api you can you can manage your api on the api manager you can deploy your application to the runtime manager okay and we will talk deep on all these components one by one in the up upcoming sessions and all you need for it to access or to get uh, Access is you just need a, a working Gmail. That is all you need. Okay. If you just have got a Gmail account, you can you can create an account through the AnyPoint platform. Okay. And next, you can download the AnyPoint Studio, okay? So the AnyPoint Studio is the tool what we use for the development, okay? If you have heard about, if you guys have heard about the Eclipse, okay? Even if you do not heard it, also fine, but using this, tool, the AnyPoint Studio, okay? AnyPoint Studio, I am going to develop a MuleSoft application, okay? So for example, let me just see how I can, uh, okay, let me just click finish. It just takes a while to complete, guys. Don't worry. Yeah. So yeah, the AnyPoint platform that that uh, I I did mention about is it the AnyPoint platform. So we have a, a flow designer. We have a runtime manager. Okay. So runtime manager is the place in AnyPoint platform where you typically deploy all your applications that you develop inside the MuleSoft, okay? And I can visualize my application health. What is the memory? What's the CPU utilization, right? And uh, how I can secure my API and how I can reuse the API. What does it mean? So today in your uh, uh, organization, there are uh, 50 developers working on MuleSoft, okay? And uh, there are 10 APIs that are already developed and readily available for you to use, okay? I don't want my 11th developer to come and write the code from scratch, no. I can just go ahead, go ahead and use any of these 10 APIs uh, according to my use and just reuse them, right? So in that way, my time to market is very less. All right. And yeah, we are here at the AnyPoint Studio. And this is the integrated development environment for APIs and integrations, guys, the AnyPoint Studio. And this is how it is going to look like your AnyPoint Studio, okay? So, so I was talking about the connectors, right? So these are all the connectors available for you to just drag and drop and use them in your development. Okay, so, that is one thing and let's where uh... 
Okay. And what all you need for you to get started to learn this Millsoft, guys? You just need the Anypod Studio. Can be downloaded from the internet and the Anypoint platform access. Right? You just need to have a Gmail. Gmail. You just need to have Gmail and you can request an access. Okay. I would show in the subsequent classes about how you can download and how you can um, uh, get the access to the platform. And these are open source. There is nothing uh, uh, restrictions. Okay. And now, guys, uh, I think many of you might be having a question in your mind that what is that if I learn MuleSoft, can, can I land up with a job? after uh, the training, okay? Definitely, if I'm in your shoes, I would think of the same, okay? I would see that even if um, after your engineering completed or you are a one-year experience, two-year, three-year, five-year experienced guy, it is very good that you guys have inclined your mind to take up the MuleSoft uh, uh, technology as your career path, okay? I assure you that you would land up with a job after this uh, uh, training, okay? That's one thing. And and right now, just to see what are the available jobs uh, in India, guys, okay? You see, uh, right now, uh, if you can see, I do have, uh, it's an Indeed, okay? I do have around uh, 3,415 open jobs for the Millsoft, okay? And, uh, we do have the the uh, if you can see the package as well zero to uh, uh, three three to six six to ten ten to fifteen lakhs per annum okay so based upon your experience we do have good number of open positions right now inside the nowcree.com okay and some of the biggest companies that are hiring you see we are having Accenture, IBM, Virtusa, right? Tech Mahindra, you can see Tech Mahindra, all right? So all these, we're going to talk about the REST APIs, MuleSoft, ActiveMQ, SOAP-based web services, right? So, <clears throat> uh, and, and even the salary wise also, you see guys, these are, these are some of the, uh, you see, so this is how the salary structure is going to uh, vary, all right? And this is just one such example inside the Naukri that I'm trying to uh, show you guys, okay? Uh, we, we can see it in indeed.com and uh, we can also uh, see in monster.com, right? So there are good number of open positions for you in, in MuleSoft uh, as of now, okay? And guys, this MuleSoft has gained a lot of traction in the market from past couple of years, and it is going to be there for good amount of years. That's what I can say. I've been working for past seven years in the MuleSoft, and I work across uh, many domains. That means different types of projects, okay? So with that assurance, I uh, thank you uh, to everyone for uh, taking your time and uh, participating in this workshop, guys, okay? And uh, it's good that you picked up this Millsoft uh, as a career path. All right, uh, uh, Asha, you wanted to uh, uh, continue for the rest of the uh, workshop. Yes, sir.
yeah thank you so much sir thank you so much for your wonderful session so we have learned many things about mulesoft uh, in this one hour so uh, like it is a trending technology where uh, now mnc's are looking for like mulesoft developers so let me share my screen no ma'am Yeah, uh, please wait for one more minute. I'll be sharing my screen. Uh, so, for the students who are uh, students or job seekers or even uh, job professionals who want to change the uh, platform of working, so we are we have come upon with this new soft training, which should be having thirty hours of training for thirty days. So we will be having this new soft training by Srinivas sir. So the highlights of this training is uh, this training will be provided uh, live. So all the training will be in the live sessions. so we will be giving the light uh, real time project and assignments where you will be practicing on the assignments and even on, uh, on project so this will be like 100% hands on session where you will be uh, practicing while learning so 24 by 7 you will be having the mentorship from the professionals so all the materials like training materials will be provided to you and also if you have missed any session live session Uh, we will be providing the same recording of the live session, which you will be having lifetime access. Not even uh, the missed session; every session will be giving the recording. You can refer after the session too. So we will also provide placement assistance. We have been collaborated with a couple of companies who are seeking for new soft developers. So we will be providing assistance for placements uh, based on your performance in the training. Uh, means we will be. Uh, <laughs> will be looking into your performance based on the assignments and the project uh, let next we'll be providing the letter of recommendation uh, ours is a uh, private limited company so letter of recommendation from our company uh, will add value to your resume so we'll be training you to how to build a resume and we'll make you to prepare on mock interviews too for the interview then you'll be getting uh, certificates like training company certificate letter of recommendation uh, and uh, even internship certificate so these are the companies who are looking who are using and looking for uh, new soft developers so these are the mnc companies so naina can you can you go down yeah so these are the topics which you have be learning in the um, which will be discussing in the training and the complete 30 days training so you will be learning introducing application networks of aps and many more and using any point platform so whole from basics to the advanced level we will be covering in the uh, training period so you will be trained on whole topics and also even if you are a beginner even if you are a uh, uh, beginner to the new soft uh there is uh, there will be no problem we will be uh, we will be from the basics and also mulesoft is very easy to learn and can i go down uh, can you go down alina yeah so the pricing will be uh, like uh, 20000 uh, but uh, only for today you will be having 50% off uh, which it will be uh, double line double line which will be 10000 uh, but only for the students who have attended today's workshop this offer will be valid so please use the code mule2022 uh, click on register now naina so please use the code mule22 so if you apply this code you will be getting it for 9999 which should you'll be getting 50% off and uh, no need to pay 10 uh, 10000 now so if you apply this code you will be getting it for 2000 which is the registration fee 
So if you pay the registration fee now, uh, you'll be getting this offer, which is 50% offer when you are joining, when you are paying in the next days, coming days. So first you can pay, you can get registered, book your slot now, and then you can pay the other amount later. But this offer only uh, valid till today and only the students who attended this workshop. So if you want to join, you can get registered. So as we're having 50% off only for today, uh, if you're paying the registration fee, you can uh, get that 50% off even after also. So if you want, you can get registered today. And also the classes will be starting from the next week. <laughs> and also we're having only limited uh, registrations. So I'll be uh, sending this link in the chat box so you can copy it. Okay, I have got a question from, uh, I think, Shashankar, who's this? Uh, Shashankar, okay. Is it a coding based or support role based? Guys, this is a purely a development based tool. Okay. And uh, it, it, it is good that you take up the development uh, uh, based projects at the starting of your career, guys. Okay, do not go for the support roles. Um, at a very initial level. Okay. So I have shared the link in the chat box. So you can copy it. And the class timings would be in the evening times. All, all. So mostly after 7 or 7.30. The sessions will be there after 7 or 7.30. So this will be completely hands-on training. Uh, where we keep the your placements in our mind and we'll be teaching you we'll make you ready for the corporate uh, companies which are mncs so uh, i'm giving you the link once again in the chat box so you can copy it so if you want 50 percent 50 percent offer will be valid only for today so if you want it for the rest of rest of the days also uh, you can get registered with the re minimum registration fee of one triple nine. So the remaining money you can pay after the when the classes will be starting. So even if you are a working professional, you can uh, take this uh, training so that to change to upgrade your skills or to upgrade your job. So anything you can take this training. Sir, we got a question in the chat box. Can you? Uh, yeah, I yeah I was just uh, reading that question. So uh, I see that uh, uh, working in Infosys as an operation executive role, can I put this MuleSoft tool and uh, can I switch my role? Definitely, uh, Shashankar, you can switch your uh, <clears throat> role. Okay, so uh, I see that in my previous uh, uh, batches, uh, they are shifting, uh, uh, say, from admin to the Millsoft developer and some uh, a business analyst or a support role, uh, like how uh, I see your message now. So they all uh, have taken and they have shifted their career to uh, the Millsoft uh, middleware technology, Asha Shankar. You can. Yeah, I have another question from Swarna Silpa. Okay, so uh, she says that uh, it's a drag and drop platform. You can build your applications uh, right uh, by cutting down a percent of coding. And uh, she says, uh, we do not want any development skills only we need to know purely about the Mills of platform and its specification. Uh, yes, Swarna, for you to learn the Mills of platform, you definitely need to know when or which component of the Mills to use when. 
okay you need to put in that logic right so for that reason you need to know in and out of the millsoft uh, platform okay and it kishore uh, uh, pathuri i see that uh, <clears throat> Uh, Millsoft is available for freshers or only experienced. It is available for both of them, uh, Kishore. Okay, even if you're a fresher or a working experienced guy, you can still uh, uh, take up this Millsoft uh, uh, technology uh, career switch, and yeah, you can uh, go for a job. Uh, Ravikant Sharma, we will help you out with uh, uh, the IT experience. We will, you yourself can uh, uh, convert that to your IT experience. Okay, don't worry about that. We will support you. And guys, we would we would go slow at the initial session because uh, uh, I see that we have got a, a wide variety of audience. Okay, so that was the reason we go a little bit slow. And uh, yeah, because I want you all to understand. That's our agenda. Everyone filled a feedback form for the certificate and who are pursuing BTEC uh, for the past out year, fill the, when you'll be passing your BTEC or your any graduation. So if you have already done, you can give that a year, like when you have passed out. See, if you're in your fourth year, you can give 2022. If you're in third year, you can give 2023. So like that it works. Can I And also I have shared the, I have also shared the um, feedback link in the chat box. So please fill it for the certificates. Yeah, uh, hi Naveen, you are from the Mac marketing background uh, from five years, uh, past five years. And yeah, you can shift uh, your career to MuleSoft. Okay. Yeah, and the requirements, guys, it's, it's going to be a very minimal requirements. Uh, um, uh, Ishwar uh, Kumar, uh, you just need a working uh, a laptop with even the 4GB RAM should be sufficient, uh, Ishwar. Don't worry about that. So, guys, nice for those who are from 2022 and 2023 or 2021, so we are giving a option others, so you can select that. So, wait for two more minutes. We'll be adding that option too. So, you can select others. So, if you're having any queries regarding the feedback or uh, mules of training, you can ask now. Yeah, please. And we gave us a platform to learn, and that's a very good part of all this research. And my last is that we are providing a for all of us to join today. But coming to the technical aspect, I hope we have learned nothing much about the nature. We know only about the platform. And Uh, I just so think as I already told, 
so if you are from 2022 or 2023 or any other batch which we mention we are we have mentioned option other so you can select that so if you are having any doubts you can stay back and ask otherwise uh, we are ending this session here and we can leave the session so anyone having the doubts can stay back yes you can leave feedback form already we have shared in the chat box and everyone are filling that please uh, check it if the year of uh, passing out your passing out year is not mentioned in the form click the option other workshop certificates you'll be getting in one week almost uh, before one week you will be getting it so thank you so much thank you for joining the session so if you're having any notes you can stay back otherwise you can leave the meeting thank you everyone Yeah, Ravikant, even for the freshers, <clears throat> it, it is a good opportunity for Ravikant. Because you would be entering as a meals of developer. You have already uh, <clears throat> uh, have got a good uh, certification uh, from the Brain of Vision. So it, it, it is a good option even for the freshers as well. And yes, Lakshmi Priya, it is uh, Lakshmi going Priya, to be... the answer is yes, because we are having yeah. huge openings on Microsoft in uh, even in startups and MNCs. So yes, it's a good career option as a fresher to go. And if you're having any queries, you can contact the member. I'm giving the chat box. You can contact to those that member. So you can contact this number for uh, any information, required information on Microsoft. <clears throat> yeah, recording of this workshop will try to send along with your certificate. <laughs> so the number which I have given in the chat box, you can use that number for uh, this Microsoft training inquiry. So if you're having any queries or if you need any information, you can call to this member. Certificate mostly you'll be getting in this week. In this week, you'll be getting the workshop certificate. So we'll try to send as much as possible.
So guys, we are ending the session here. So if you're having any doubts, you can call to the them. So thank you so much. Thank you.